Hi, what we have seen uh, recently that uh, when the business is in a transition mode from father to the son, generally a lot of control is uh, implemented by the father on the son. Uh, let us remember one thing that uh, son has gone through a good education background and in spite of that, a father tries to, you know, control everything, the, the strategy, the process and everything else. And in that process, they end up losing a lot of money also because a father who has been in the business for long uh, could not build a large organization because of various reasons. We are not getting into that. But then the son who has gone through uh, a, a good uh, education background and uh, he comes with a new thinking process of running the organization, he finds himself in a situation where uh, he is not able to take the right actions and the right decisions for the organization. This is a real, real problem in the business. So, in my viewpoint, the most important part is that the father has to give full freedom to the son to take decisions step by step and basis the, uh, the performance, uh, more areas and span of control should be given to him so that he can move fast and achieve more in a short period of time. Otherwise, they will continue to lose money by hiring wrong people, by firing very quickly, not able to implement processes, not able to implement the strategy. They will always have a thought process that my team is not working. They are good for nothing. But in fact, in my viewpoint, it is not like that. It is basically because uh, a, a lack of management, lack of people management is something uh, is a very important thing which is missing in the business. Thank you.